Really quick before I begin, the type of Stanley cases that I love to use for organizing my miniatures are sadly no longer in production, or it's just much harder to find them. You can still get them on eBay for about 15 bucks shipped. But unfortunately, I have not seen them recently on Amazon. Now, obviously, you can just go to your local hardware store and see what they have in stock. I would normally give an Amazon link, but the Stanley cases currently on Amazon are very overpriced. Like the tiny little ones are around 15 bucks. That's not a good price at all. So I'm not going to leave you that link for an overpriced product. Check out your local hardware and big box stores, and if need be, search for the specific case, which I will list the number below in the description. You should pay about 15 bucks shipped for the really good big cases that I'm using in this video. Good evening, everybody. As you can see, I'm doing a bit of a organization on ye old work desk here. I have a plethora of pre-primed miniatures ready to paint. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, little green stuff guy. A little green stuff giant worm that I sculpted out of leftovers when I was messing around with green stuff. Uh, here's a dollar store camel. This came out of one of those dollar store animal packs. So I just have a, I have a wide variety of stuff that I'm just... Uh, ready to paint but uh, i need to get a little bit more organized but the main point of what we're doing today are these stanley containers and these these are the smaller ones that i got at walmart on clearance a while back okay, so you can see with this one here i am organizing all my skeleton figures all my skelly men so these range from the old hasbro skeletons here's a nice a lovely looking orc skeleton that's very nice uh we got a uh, skeleton from one of the D, D. I believe this is the ravenloft board game that i painted up and yeah that, that still looks really nice here's the purplish one that i did with the black skeleton very nice stuff uh and then just a bunch of uh, skeletons that i painted over the years here's a uh, reaper bones draconic guy skeleton painted with the contrast colors i think somewhat and some uh lovely citadel um technical rust on there as well it's very cool so yeah th that's kind of what i want to do and this box is definitely going to be big enough for the vast majority of my skeleton figures now obviously because this is a bit of a smaller case my larger skeletons are not going to fit in here so uh but this will do very well for most of my skeletons so that brings me to this pack and if you'll notice um except for the two hasbro goblins here these little these little black blade goblins here which are a pretty fun little sculpt uh this little stanley case is absolutely filled with nothing but bugbears and it's ridiculous that I own this many bugbears. And I started to realize, oh heck, like, if this is how many bugbears I have in my collection, there's absolutely no way I'm going to fit all my goblinoids in here. Because that's the plan, is to have one of these containers that has all my goblinoids, including all my bugbears. Like this little, uh, if you see here, this is actually a, I believe this is a HeroScape bugbear. Which is very interesting. But it's the same sculpt as the original Hasbro bugbear. Oh, here's a here's one of the Reaper bugbears that I painted up when I was trying to get more crazy colors. He turned out nice. So So obviously this, this is gonna be too small, because when you put together all my hobgoblins, goblins, bugbears, and assorted goblinoids. This, this little case is going to be way, way too small. So we're gonna have to use this for something else, perhaps townsfolk? What I was gonna do though, is take this much bigger Stanley case. So this is going to be my new goblinoid case. So we're gonna have to take everything out of here that's not goblin. Oh my God, look at this. More bugbears. I have way too many bugbears. Like this, one person does not need this many bugbears. We have some assorted uh, aquatic miniatures here. 
some bog arts and as you can see here uh, I actually put some padding in this little section here so maybe this is where my nicer hand painted goblinoids will go so we can we can put this guy in here oh I got some Star Wars miniatures these guys were on sale for like 25 cents back in the day so I have a couple of those lying around some some lizard men uh, we got a rebased dream blade miniature this is the red cap rebased dream blade thing this would still be fun for D, D. we have stats for red caps uh we got some gricks uh we have a um an earth archon and we have a whole container of drow now considering how many drow miniatures i have maybe that whole Thing there could be just nothing but drow miniatures in that smaller case but not goblinoids we only want goblinoids in here uh no no what do we have here we have a, a random mage knight miniature of some sort uh, we have a lovely zombie that certainly certainly is a nice looking zombie miniature ah and here we have some orcs now, considering the amount of orcs that I have, I think I definitely want to maybe put these orcs in the larger section here. So these are all... Well, hey, wait a second. These are definitely orc-like, but these are definitely Star Wars <laughs> stand in wealth orcs. But the rest of these, one Pathfinder orc, two Pathfinder orcs, and the rest of these seem to be mostly Dungeon Command ones, and the old Hasbro ones. So they can go in there. There's goblins and hobgoblins. And these are actually the Caesar miniature goblins, which are some of the first miniatures I painted. And you can see here, I, I did some that are a little bit more updated. But uh, they're very nice little, they're very tiny, tiny little goblins, but they're very nice. Decent here. Leave those in there. Hobgoblins, put those aside for now. We're definitely going to put those in their own little area. Oh, we got some lovely... See, these are so nice looking. These are the uh, Pathfinder uh, elementals. We got a water elemental and an air elemental here. And these look really nice. I believe these are... Uh, I think some of these are being re-released as unpainted ones. But I really like these, especially the... the, the man, the air elemental here just really looks nice. It's nice, simple. I like the design. He's top heavy, but they got the curve, so it's he's sits in there real nice. You don't have to worry about him falling over or anything. Water elemental, not as great. Maybe a better paint job would have helped out. But you know, as I'm seeing it now, I mean, this on the table is going to look fine. So these might look better off just actually like on a shelf where people could appreciate them. We have a, a weird moon beast here. <laughs> It's an eclectic group. I don't know what this was hanging out with. Things. A little Pathfinder Sea Serpent type thing. And we have some more of the little medium style elementals. Which again look very nice. And then we have one tiny little grind yellow. This is a Pathfinder monster. Kind of like a little shark goblin thing. Grandilo. Grandy hat. Oh, Grandilo. Alright. Ah, uh, we have a skeleton. Maybe this one can go in the skeleton pack here. This is a Cyclops skeleton. Very nice little, uh, nice little, uh, Hasbro skeleton. We have an Oni Night Haunter. Now, I know I have several of these because these used to be super cheap on the websites back in the day. Definitely under a dollar. For a large miniature. Uh, we got a, a Warcraft board game rebased figure. Which has a pretty cool looking axe. So that's a nice little miniature that could be an evil fighter. Oh, we have a, a very lovely uh, Duke of Hell here from the original Hasbro line. That's pretty cool. Again... These really should be organized by monster group, you know? 
We have a Minotaur. He's got a maze engraving on his axe, in case you forget he's a giant Minotaur. Little creatures. Oh, and we got a nice little uh, snow leopard. It's a little chonky snow leopard. Okay. More. And then this is my pack of just absolutely random stuff. Oh, we have a knoll here. Knoll. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a toy cartoon network. I, I think it's like some sort of cartoon. I don't know. Remember? I remember that was at the uh, store there. I got that. Oh, man, we got some weird Pathfinder stuff. We have a bronze wormling to go through. So it's good to do this because I, I, you know, I didn't. Obviously, there's too many miniatures to keep perfect track of here. Let's see here. Oh, we got a Kenku boy. Cool. Definitely. I actually needed to find this because I have a Kenku encounter coming up. So as you can see, he's a medium miniature. And the little dusk lizard man is a little small miniature guy, even though, you know, for game purposes. <laughs> so that's it. So now I can start filling this in. Um, hobgoblins, I don't have a huge collection of hobgoblins, um, so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of leave them for a little two-spacer there. My bugbears, I, I have a lot of bugbears, so we're going to put those, one of those things. Uh, gobos, I think can go here. This is actually technically a half-orc, so I had him in here because he kind of looked like a red-skinned hobgoblin. But he's not, so he should probably be in with the player characters if anybody should want to play a half-orc. We have more assorted guys, including the Bugbear Strangler, who I really... It's a lovely little sculpt from back in the day. And one of the Pathfinder uh, Bugbears, who... Uh, look, I love the details on his little hat and facial expression. It's very nice. And then the uh, newer... Bugbear Champion with the armor. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Bugbear Lurker. I don't know what I was thinking when I said Champion. Man, I think I'm going to have to come up with a dang old... <laughs> I got a Bugbear Mystic. I'm going to have to come up with a Bugbear uh, scenario here. Because I have a lot of Bugbears. One of the newer Hobgoblins from the WizKids set. Very nice. More Bugbears. And finally, if you'll notice... This is the same sculpt as the one that I painted. But this is actually one of the legendary encounters. This is the first set of uh, pre-painted miniatures that Reaper uh, sent out. And the, I believe the last set, I don't think they've done hardly any pre-painted stuff since legendary encounters. But yeah, certainly that's a nice enough... Uh, certainly a nice enough uh, bugbear to go on your table. I kind of like the Reaper interpretation of it because it uh, reminds me of the older Hasbro sculpts. So that's very good. This guy is actually an ogre. So I think it's perfectly fine to have some ogres in here along with the goblin kind. So then we have some assorted goblins here. These, uh, these Pathfinder goblins are a little bit fragile but i think they'll be okay kind of just in one of the smaller kits i just have to remember not to bang this kit around so much and i'll have my goblinoid army ready to go anytime i need to run a game i can just grab my goblinoid thing here and grab whatever goblins i happen to need take a quick look through with one of my remaining bins here that i have not properly organized yet all right so this is one of the few bins remaining that I'm just kind of going through all my stuff and organizing everything. This was from years ago when there was a sale for... This, there was a sale on Miniature Market where they were selling certain things, certain pre-painted miniatures for cheap, and included of that was these uh, lovely uh, Hobgoblin Spikers, or what are they called? Hobgoblin Impalers are lovely little kind of hobgoblins which are more of the frontline baddies nice stuff oh lovely i believe this is uh what is this yeah but i believe it's a pathfinder one but easily make that vulture demon thing which i can never remember the name of 
that this looks really nice. I love the sculpt. Very nice sculpt. Ah, we have a uh, a, a wind fiend fury, which I like. This this is nice to have just for a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, uh, scenery terrain. I also like to if somebody casts a spell that allows them to do like walking on wind, they can just have this as a base and just move around the battlefield. Okay, so I am pretty sure that this is this box done. I will eventually fill this up with a bunch of goblin kind, and maybe all my ogres, maybe all my ogres will fit in here. I don't know, I got a lot of ogres too. So then this is my next box, and this is going to be filled up with Blood War stuff. So Avernus stuff, all that nonsense, uh, definitely is going to fit in here, because I have a lot of cool miniatures that would be themed towards the Blood War, including this little guy right here, which I actually just found in the previous box. So, for example, he would go in this next box here. What kind of random stuff is in here? I'm going to say, uh, from what I know, this box is going to have a bunch of the aquatic stuff from the Skull and Shackles. Because I got that on a ridiculously good deal at one point in time. So I know I have a lot of Skull and Shackles stuff in here, so let's just take a look. And not as much as I thought. Uh, right away, I know I see some uh, the Sea Troll which is one of my favorite Pathfinder sculpts. I just really like this guy. Sea Troll. <laughs> That's a pretty good pre-painted miniature. And honestly, I could fill this up with all my um, aquatic miniatures, but I don't think it would fill it to the brim. Um, because I, even though I did buy all those back in the day, I did sell a lot of those. So I don't have quite enough miniatures to fill this up. Uh, again, this has some Star Wars guys in here, I think, and some... Ooh, we got some Lizardmen. Ooh, lovely. This is a... No, technically this is not a Lizardman. This is a Troglodyte. So... Huh. He looks pretty Lizardman-y. I like the skull on his back. The, uh, we got the old Werebear. I always love this dude. I, I like the fact that, too, that, for whatever reason, this carried over that werebears always have, like, giant axes. <laughs> so a lot of the modern werebear miniatures also wield giant axes. Uh, so that became kind of a theme. Around here, we got some... Oh, we got a cat person. This is always helpful to find one of these guys. A cat folk wilder. So that'd be helpful if anybody wanted to pay a, play a panther person in one of my games. Uh, oh, we have a hook hoarder. Always fun to find one of these guys around. This is, ah, well, I like the, uh, you know, it's simple, but the Hasbro stuff, I just like it. It's, it's just iconic to me at this one point. Who knows? Oh, when we have, oh my god, we have yet another bugbear. I, I got it. Man, I got a problem with the bugbear miniatures. I have, I've got a bugbear with the bugbears because I have too many bugbears. Dragon zombie here. This is the same dragon zombie that you can find unpainted, I believe, in the Ravenloft set. So this looks pretty interesting. They painted this guy like he's kind of a freshly killed zombie. So maybe if I paint the uh, Ravenloft one up, I'll paint it more of as a an older zombie. Oh, and I got some. Devils and demons in here, too. So I already got a good start on the box. I got some of these crimson... So, I'm sorry, scarlet gargoyles. Which actually, just because they're somewhat themed, can probably stay in there. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on creating a Blood War box for this one. I'm just filling this up with that. But if anybody else has any alternative methods of organization... Because again, it looks like I'm going to organize stuff... Mostly by type, by monster type. So I have the Goblinoid box, I have the Blood War box, uh, and I will probably keep on doing anything. If anybody has any alternative organizational methods which might be a little bit better, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you guys organize your miniatures. As of now, I have these and I have my stand-up racks that I am slowly organizing as well. And after I get this one box emptied of miniatures, uh, I will have every, all my pre-painted stuff in some sort of box, quasi-organized, at the very least. So, thanks for watching the video again. If you have any suggestions or just want to share how you organize your miniatures, let me know in the comments below.